So why did he decide not to play in KC's 13-12 road victory over the Los Angeles Chargers at Sophie Stadium? All the players wanted him to play, but he just goes, you know what? I don't like the way it feels, Chiefs coach Andy Reid said after the game. He's not into that. And so he chose not to play. Kelsey's decision certainly could be seen as a wise one. The Chiefs had locked up the AFC's number. Three seed before Sunday's contest, meaning there was no team-based reason for him to be out there. 2024 NFL Playoffs, ranking all 14 teams to make the postseason. From Dynamic Ravens to Deflated Eagles CBS Sports. 4. Chiefs, 11-6. Andy Reid's offense is typically video game-like in its creativity and execution, which has not been the case in 2023. But for all the frustration Patrick Mahomes has exhibited, the QB practically lives and breathes playoff football, not so unlike Tom Brady in his prime. And their Chris Jones-led defense has been nasty up front top five in sacks across the NFL. Five things that stood out about the Chiefs' win, without Mahomes, over the Chargers' Kansas City star. I didn't anticipate many takeaways from the starters. But here's a potentially significant one, Omanihu has some momentum building at the right time. With his strip sack Sunday, he has been a part of a sack in at least six straight games to conclude the regular season. Mid-season form, in a way. Omanihu was suspended for the first six games of the year. KC Chiefs DT Chris Jones reaches contract incentive for 10th sack Sports Illustrated. Before Sunday's game even started, Jones had already hit his benchmarks for 35% and 50% of snaps played. That earned him a combined $2 M. The 10th sack gets him to $3.25 M total in incentives earned, but he has some work to do if he wants to make another jump. He's missed out on a $500,000 incentive for 15 sacks, as well as, for all intents and purposes, a $2 M bonus for a Defensive Player of the Year award and a Super Bowl win. It's still possible he earns $1 M for a first-team All-Pro berth and a Super Bowl appearance, although that will take some serious work by player and team alike. Randy Moss, Alex Smith to enter College Football Hall of Fame The Athletic in 2004, Smith led the Utes to their first-ever 12-0 season and a BCS Bowl berth in the Fiesta Bowl. He passed for 328 yards and four touchdowns in the win over Pitt and won Fiesta Bowl MVP honors. The San Francisco 49ers drafted Smith with a no-one pick in the 2005 draft and spent his 16-year career with the Niners, Kansas City Chiefs and Washington Commanders. The three-time Pro Bowler received the 2020 NFL Comeback Player of the Year award after recovering from a gruesome leg injury.